The phrase never forget has become synonymous with Holocaust remembrance. The idea that by remembering we will prevent similar horrors from happening again. But a new study shows a disturbing lack of Holocaust awareness and knowledge in millennials and Gen X. This amid rising acts of anti-Semitism in the U.S. and around the world. Recently, I had the chance to talk to some survivors who shared reactions and reflections. When the Nazis came into Hungary, it was March 1944. Then right away, uh, by the 1st of April, we had to wear a yellow star. I have lost my brother, who's a year old. I lost all of my aunts and uncles and uh, many cousins. At one time, I probably would have had 81 first cousins. Painful recollections from one of history's darkest hours. Some things are so traumatic, you just cannot forget. Erica Gold and Roman Freeman both survived the Holocaust, though many of their immediate family members did not. Lives cut short among six million Jews murdered. They've shared their stories in the name of education here in Northeast Ohio. Because there are so many people who deny the Holocaust which of course leads to anti-Semitism. Recent years have seen a disturbing rise in violence against Jews in the U.S. The ADL reporting a spike in anti-Semitic incidents and hate crimes since 2016, including deadly attacks on synagogues. Both Gold and Freeman say they've seen disturbing signs. I came to this country in 1949, I was 11 and a half, and I never thought that I would ever witness Nazis walking down the streets in the United States. And it's very bothersome. Hate groups are getting stronger and they have more members and they're vocal. And I don't know what we're gonna do about that. A new study out this fall is underscoring their concerns. It revealed a lack of Holocaust awareness and knowledge among millennials and Gen Z. Among the study's findings, almost two thirds of those surveyed did not know that six million Jews were killed during the Holocaust. 48% could not name a single concentration camp. If you go there, you see the ovens, you see where the people who were brought into Auschwitz, what happened to their shoes or glasses or toothbrushes. 10% believe the Holocaust did not happen at all. And 59% believe something like the Holocaust could happen today. When you hear these stories, it People don't know what happened or have, have no idea what the Holocaust was. Does it make you sad? Does it make you angry? I get angrier as I get older. People are bystanders and they don't know when to speak up or they don't want to or afraid. But that's one of the things we're trying to emphasize, that if you see something that's wrong, you have to speak up. George Santiana said, quote, those who forget the Holocaust are doomed to remember it. Will this happen? God, I hope not. It should make us all angry and sad that so many are unaware of this horrible time in history. By the way, last month, Facebook, after receiving much criticism, made a significant policy change, banning any content that denies or distorts the Holocaust. We will have more Northeast Ohio survivor community and some innovative education programs this Friday night here at 11 on What's Next. And Sarah, it was amazing and an honor talking with Mrs. Gold and Mr. Freeman to, to know that they are out there sharing these stories that are not easy for them to tell in the name of educating people was, is, is incredible. And again, I was so honored to talk to them. And so good of you to share their stories and we hope that more people see that and, and recognize the pain mm -hmm. and the horror is real. Yeah, and again, more on Friday with the education effort. Yes.